Hey guys, Kyle the Death Knight of Enemy here. <sighs> Bringing you my review for My Hero Academia Season 3, Episode 10. And I'm just going to tell you guys straight up, th this isn't going to be like my normal review. Like this, th th you, you guys pretty much are getting pure me. Like th 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 there's pretty much going to be no, like, what, there's pretty much no, like, going to be no script in front of me, no, no nothing. Like no, 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 pretty much, pretty much. I, I don't. I, I, I really barely have any notes to speak of with this episode. You guys are just gonna get pure me on screen, and I think that's probably gonna be the case for the next episode too. But I, 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 I but, but before that, I, I did manage to write one thing before we get to the, the, holy shit, fuck shit stuff in this episode. I, I did manage to write one thing down, which is worth noting. Like. So, like, it pretty much goes without saying that the art, that the art animation in this episode was off the chart, was off the charts amazing, and apparently the reason for that, according to Yonko Productions, is that you, you, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I kind of have trouble with my, with my Japanese pronunciation, so this might take a bit, you, 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 talk, 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 Nakamura, apparently was on the team as key animator, and it really shows that it, it, it his, his his pretty much thumbprint his mark in this episode was clear as day and it really shows like this is the same guy who gave us insane fight anime fight fight moments like 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 the like like pretty much Saitama versus Boros in in One Punch Man Ed versus NV in FMA two thousand three episode fifty and I think even though he even though I even though he's on credit or maybe that was someone else I think he helped out a bit. With the first Goku vs. Jun fight in Dragon Ball Super, but yeah, and also if we're going by My Hero Academia 2, other than this fight, he also gave us the Izuku vs. Todoroki fight, so you definitely know the dude's got more streak, more, 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 definitely more than enough street cred, definitely more than enough street cred to, to, to pretty much his name in this episode, and yeah, like I said, it shows. Uh, we... Uh, another one who was on the key animation team was is Yuki Hayashi, and he was on, and while he hasn't done as much, I recognize he got he does have a lot of One Piece on his credentials, pretty much mainly the movies, pretty much mainly the movies, and that's enough for me. Although he he did actually currently animate a few a few a few episodes of Black Lagoon as well, so that's always a plus in the guy's corner. But yeah, like I said, the art and animation in this episode was freaking off the charts. Um, Okay, so now that that's pretty much out of the way, let's let's get into the episode itself. And honestly, uh, pretty much a good chunk of this review is a good chunk of this review is going to be me focused talking on all for one because there's honestly a certain irony to this episode and the fact that the title of the episode is called the Symbol of Peace, and yet all for one pretty much stole the show, pretty much stole the show right from pretty much under underneath All Might's feet in this episode for me, like. All my like all my like he, he he definitely had his purpose in place in the episode, but he was basically a footnote compared to the shit that, that we see all for one doing in here. And the the thing the thing is, it isn't necessary with with with, with how with anything he was done like in terms of fighting, <clears throat> but it's basically how he was acting in this episode that counted for me. Like for instance, I'll, I'll basically I'll, pretty much a lot of what. A lot of what, um, a lot of the ways that All for One was acting in this episode, he pretty he he pretty much lives up to his to to the to, he pretty much lives up to the name that he pretty much lives up to the name that the pretty much Tomar Shigaraki gives him, which is which which is Sensei or Master. Like he like he was like All for One was legitimately acting like a true Sensei and like a true Master by basically, but basically doing all he could in 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 order to save Shigaraki and and the League of Villains. Like he. He pretty much, even even if it's for evil purposes of of pretty much having of having Shigaraki uh of having of having Shigaraki like pretty much succeed him as as the new like master of evil or, or the new symbol of evil, you can genuinely care that from pretty much that he cares for he cares he cares for Shigaraki and and he wanted to and he wanted to see him he wanted to see him continue on with with, with pretty much his his legacy so. Actually, in and yeah, he was just doing all he could to protect he protect Shigaraki like, like a master would do for, for pretty much his students. So, yeah, it's it's really kind of one of those ironic ironic things. And honestly, if you think about it, what makes it even more ironic is that he is what makes it even more more ironic is that 
all for one was definitely acting more like a definitely more like a true sensei and a true master than all than, than all might was than all might has for Izuku throughout pretty much the entire series. Like all might has not, I, I think he even kind of acknowledged it a little bit in this episode that all might has not done enough in, in, in order to in order to protect Izuku. Like, he, but then again, I think I think it's because he recognizes. To, I think it's because he's letting his he, he's he's letting his. I think it's because he lets his. His his judge his judgment cloud his he lets his he lets his judgment cloud his um his his thinking because because he realizes that Izuku and him are a lot alike so he's trying to give him as much freedom as he can I guess but at the same time you, you do need to know where, where to definitely draw the line and and, and in in order to protect some, someone you care about and yeah like again you know again that that's basically what what all for one was doing in this episode so yeah um okay and I, I pretty much failed to. Okay, and, and I failed to address this in the last episode. I'm sorry about that. But uh, but apparently we, we apparently apparently sh apparently the name of Tomura Shigaraki isn't even Shigaraki's true name. Apparently it's Tenko Shimura, and Tenko Shimura. So he's connected to he's connected to All Might's All Might's predecessor, and and we learn her full name, which is Nana Shimura, and. Oh god, I can already see where, where this is going and what and what all for one is thinking in his head and how he's gonna take like an all and how all for one's gonna take advantage of this. Like all for one, basically, I think all for all for one knew at the time of who of, of who Shigaraki was and and I and he and and now he's 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 basically going to use it against against All Might in order to, in order to weaken his in order to weaken his whole um. In order to weaken his his pretty much whole his whole belief in the whole, it, as a hero, like the, the, you gotta think for a second. All Might basically, All Might, whatever pretty much their relationship is, All Might basically just kind. All Might was basically responsible for pretty much going up against and and even trying to even trying to imprison, imprison her, imprison his old his 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 basically predecessors. A family member of his predecessor, like it's, yeah. He, if I'm sure, like n definitely knowing All Might and 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 how much he, and how much we see of, of how much he more than like he looks up to, look, looks up to Nana Shimura, his predecessor. That when he learns that little fact, it is going to break his spirit beyond belief. And honestly, it's what's what's even again. It gets even crazier than that. Is that if. If you think about it, if 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 pretty much all for one pretty much knew about knew about Shigaraki's identity from the beginning, and he was raising him and he's raising him to be this symbol of evil, then all then all for one has been basically has been basically planning has been planning All Might's downfall like this since the very fucking beginning of the series. Like he, all all for one all, all for one from the moment he took Shigaraki in, he his the cogs in his head were starting turning and saying. Yes, I can. I can raise this child to be uh, be a villain, but I can also use him in order to break, in order to break All Might's spirit. So, in order to break, in order in order to break the symbol of peace's spirit, whoever that may be, and yeah, it just so happened that <sighs> we have, and I can break the break the symbol of peace's spirit, or, or whoever whoever succeeds in Nana Shimura. So, yeah, it's like. <sighs> All, all for one is is a true mastermind. He he planned this shit from the very beginning of the series, and, and it's all playing out exactly how he wants right now. That's that's the scary thing. Um, okay, so let's the one the one thing I want to talk now. Let's talk about that. Now let's talk about the Bakugo rescue scene because honestly, like honestly, it it was so good in the sense where okay, if you if you think about it, from the very, and what what makes that seem so good, honestly, in many respects, is that it it didn't it, it didn't really even put Izuku in full focus. It put Kirishima in focus, and again, it, it's it's much like the Bakugo rejecting the League of Villains scene, in which if we hadn't gotten all this all this subtle little build up up to this point, it wouldn't have made sense. But here, it makes sense because Kirishima and Bakugo. Have actually built up this bond. Have built up this this bond throughout the series. Like they're they're pretty much the 
like it's it's as easy as said. Bakugo wouldn't have even bothered to. Bakugo pretty much see pretty much sees Izuku Izuku Todoroki to, to, Izuku Todoroki Momo all those other people as rivals. He he pretty much only um, and that's and that's and he's dead set in that mindset. Whether or not whether or not we see that as a good thing or a bad thing, but he respects Kitashima so much and it's in a way it, it is kind of. It's is kind of playing with that whole that whole thing of of the hero rescuing of hero res rescuing his friend, in which, in this case, it isn't it isn't easy to doing it because he, he, he because he knows he knows Bakugo hates him, but as long, if it's someone Bakugo respects, then he 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 will openly he will openly accept the hand of he will openly accept the hand to rescue him. So, and all because of Bakugo's pride. But yeah. Be, I just I love the fact that that it was Kirishima and not Izuku. It isn't it, it wasn't anything grand or epic, but it it was a nice play on it was a nice it was a nice play on on the traditional on the traditional um on the traditional he, protagonist pr protagonist setting his friend thing. So yeah, I, I definitely liked it for that. And and like I said, if again you, you, again it was. And again, the art and the art and animation of that scene of Bakugo basically using his quirk to fly up again. It's it's that, that that's basically that's basically the key anime. That's that's basically you. That's basically that's. I think that was that was Nakamura's basically handprint at his handprint there. So yeah, it was it was awesome. Um, okay. Now let's. Now let, let's basically talk about the about the end of this episode with pretty much All Might, where we basically see him, where we basically where we basically see that half his face is basically returned to his normal state. So, yeah, um, I <laughs> I think I I think it's fair to say that like like the next episode. Is gonna be insane, and I I think I think it's again gonna be another one of those episodes for me where I'm I'm not even gonna have I'm gonna have to barely write anything down, and I I, I hope I don't know if it's been said or not, but I I hope I I hope I hope I hope that Nakamura also returns for that episode because like I said the animation was insane in this episode, and I want more of that. But yeah, like with with basically how all my face is, I think it's inevitable that we're or that I think it's a no. I think it's inevitable that, that we're basically headed for. I think it's a sign that we're headed for. for, for the the next episode is going to be probably the most climactic battle ever, and that honestly, I would not be surprised if the end of this battle, uh, at the end of this battle, um, freaking All Might's, freaking All Might's, All Might's power is basically he, he uses up the, the remaining portions of his power. Like I would not be. Surprised for that, because because this definitely feels like like one of those climactic turning points in the series, and yeah, I think I think if if that final frame of All Might's face is any indication, where or he's definitely he's definitely headed for a point where he, he won't be able to use his he's definitely headed for a point where he, he he'll use up the rest of his quirk in this in this one climactic battle with with All for One, and yeah, it's 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 gonna be an insane insane battle for sure. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Death Night of Anime, signing off. Later, guys. Insane episode.